G'day! Welcome back to Immersive Engineering. This is episode 18. So guys, last flaming episode, we started uh, producing a lot of steel automatically. That's right, come on over here, check this out. We have an improved blast furnace. So we set this skill up last episode and it is fully automatic now. Finally got an automatic system. We've done this, we've we've done this on purpose. Obviously, we have upcoming machines that require a hell of a lot of steel. So we've gone ahead and we've we've automated our steel production here. And we've increased the speed as well. So on both sides here, we obviously got the blast furnace preheaters, which is just pretty much like superchargers. It speeds up the process uh, dramatically. And then over here, we've obviously got it hooked into the uh, coke ovens here. So that's constantly producing charcoal to feed the machine. So that's flaming brilliant. Right now, she's actually spitting out solid blocks of steel which is fan fantastic the sludge is actually going and getting disintegrated it has an overflow protection oh it has everything anyway if you want to see this thing well there goes another one if you want to see if this being built last episode go watch last episode and uh you'll learn how i've done all this here but working bloody brilliant look another one 16 blocks of steel fantastic so yeah, I've been obviously doing a bit of AFKing and uh, waiting for our steel production to sort of go up so I can sort of move into, you know, some some really crazy, crazy machines. Like, I want to get some crazy power going, which actually requires a lot of crazy steel. So, I've uh, actually recently died thanks to zombies coming in the front door. And that just sort of poked me along and was like, Data, you really need to get the front door fixed up before you do anything else. You haven't got enough steel to continue. Oh, crikey. So, Flaming Galah. There's nothing really else to report, by the way, guys. Come out the front. Come on out. Uh, oh, I've got to fix some holes. I have had some zombies take out some doors. And I've had a creeper explosion over there. But as you can see, the street lights are still being powered by our windmill up there. Uh, I've got to fix this. Flame and galah. Uh, crikey. And our current, we're about 20% now of our fluids and our both tanks as well. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So what I want to do is obviously fix up the front door, get some high voltage lines across. So we want to try to get a one, kill, one shot system in. That would be fantastic. If we can do that, we might move on to something like a rail gun next to play around with. Oh, crack, there's just so much. What what do we do first? Railgun or front door defense? This is defense. That's right. Okay, so let's get let's go ahead and get the front door complete anyway. So, what we what I'm, what I've got in front of what I've got what I'm holding is a redstone breaker. So this redstone breaker here, guys, this here is actually made out of high voltage parts, so it can take a high voltage line. But it's actually controlled by redstone, okay? As soon as you, you can switch it off and on just by a lever, which is fan bloody tastic. So remember, we couldn't use a breaker before because uh, it was low voltage, but that there is going to control it. Remember, we've tested the high voltage line, hit seven and a half hearts, one go. What happens if we have one, two, three? That's right, three. So if a zombie was to come along, he would actually hit all three of them at a time. Would he absolutely disintegrate? Like, psh, gone. That would be flaming awesome. So let's go ahead and get that all hooked up, okay? Um, how we're going to do this is... Oh, crikey. How are we going to do this? All right, I'm going to run it behind the wall here. Okay, we're going to literally take it behind the wall because there's a... There's some junk back here. This is all from the water mills when we set all that up ages ago. So go ahead and grab some of that back. Ow, ow, ow. Well, that's that's low voltage. Look, you take barely any damage from low voltage, but high voltage is dangerous. So we can go ahead and get rid of actually the light, the low voltage on that side and that side. Remember, this is a high voltage capacitor there. So let's go ahead and connect a, a high voltage capacitor. Run the line through the wall we'll have a few connections i've got a few tight turns i think um let's go ahead and plop a block in here lever on the block we're going to switch the block or the lever on and we're going to go ahead and put the redstone breaker behind it like so actually can we is there a possibility we can 
switch that around. No. Okay, it's not switching around. Uh, where's my where's my hammer? Hammer. There we go. All right, switched around. So we could run high voltage to the roof directly through there. Okay. Where is some high voltage coil? There we go. Connect that with that. That with that. Okay, so that is turned off. I'm hoping. Remember, be careful playing with this sort of voltage. You will fry yourself, and you don't want. Uh, yeah, yeah, you don't want to fry yourself. But we got a couple of sharp turns. Actually, no, we don't need that. I will just carve this out a little bit. But I want to connect that with that, and that with that. Just check if it's alive. Test testing. Oh, yep. See, no high voltage. Whew. Oh, oh, I was biting down hard there. Flame and galah. Okay, so now we can sort of fix up the, the current damage that we've done to the wall by hiding all this. Yep, hide it all. Hide as much as you can of it. There we go. Look at that. Nice and hidden defense. There we go. All right, so that's all high voltage. Now we're going to go ahead and run the line from there to there and there to there, there to there. Holy smokes, this is nuts. And there to there, there to there. She should be all hooked up. Crazy amount of power. It's not on, right? No, she shouldn't be on. So now we need to wait until night time to give it a test. But there we go. We've actually got a very good defense right now. I am so scared of touching this thing when it's on. We need a probably a redstone lamp or something. Just to indicate, you know, if it's on or not, that would be cool. Um, redstone lamp. All right, so let's go. I got, I got that. We can make that. Just to indicate that if it's um, um, on or not. No, then it needs to be inverted. Uh, we'll just put one there anyway. So we'll grab some of this. Make ourselves a block of glowstone. Our first glowstone, actually. There we go. Throw that back in there. I love having this little mob farm on top of us. It's been providing us. And we need a bit of redstone, which we have a redstone chest in here. Go ahead and put one of these lamps together. Where are you? You're flaming. Uh, I had it just before. Okay, fine. All right, there we go. Plus that. There you go, Bob's uncle. So, we'll at least have a light system. Um, all right. Boom. Okay. That's that's an indicator. So it's reverse at the moment. That's an indicator to let me know that the uh, it is currently in off state. As soon as there's no light, so I need to invert that. I'll invert that later. I might move it over here or into the floor, so you're sort of running through it. And if something happens, yeah, invert that data because as soon as you switch that switch off, that power is gonna flow through there and through here. It's like bloody Jurassic Park. That's what sort of power this is. Jurassic Park power, that. <laughs> but hey, at least no spiders can go. A bottom level, nothing. We are set. So we'll wait until night time now. And we'll lure some bad guys in for testing. <laughs> Sorry, a little bit evil. Okay, so let's move on to... I want to play around with a rail gun. Yes, rail gun. It's been a bit out of my, my reach for now because... Of the high voltage capacitors that's right I haven't had the high voltage capacitors to build it but I've actually got four of them spare one here so we've got I can go ahead and make two out of that um, we should have all the parts to put one together uh, this is a le electrum electrum coil block Ooh, interesting okay we're gonna need electrum wire which is we need electrum plate we need electrum if we come on over here and come in here electrum now, let's stamp some of this into some plate. We've got our... That's right. Our base is coming along nicely, but we've got... Uh, well, how much? We don't actually need that many. We'll pop that in. Get that sorted... That, that, that stamped into plate. And then, I think we can run it through this girl here, which should be... Ah, uh, I don't think I put... Did I put it on there? I, I need a wire cutter for the next bit, I think, for the electrum plate. Am I right? Am I right? Yes, okay. So I need wire cutters to turn it into an S. Keep on going. Keep on going. We'll make a bunch of them up. Here, here's another 16. Stamp away. Ha <laughs> ha, I love that thing. Okay. 
So, we just need a wire cutter. Throw that bad boy in there, and there. Boom. Okay, we've got a Letrum freaking what's we call it. And we go back here. Now we just need a piece of iron. Uh, no, no, we're oh, sorry. My bad, I skipped, a, I skipped a step. We need tons of this. So we need sticks now. Flame and glass sticks. There you go. Tons of it. And go ahead and plus that. Boom. I've only got four. Really? Uh, that's all it made? This is actually going to be quite expensive. That's okay. We've got it stamping still. Uh, yeah, we've got it stamping still. It is, it is becoming expensive. But, uh, alright. We'll go see what else we had. It's still going. It sounds awesome, though. Okay, 19, 20, 20 is fine. Get those converted, please. There we go. Thank you. It's just going to keep on going and going and going. All right, we might add the whole stack in there. There you go. Have some more. Stamp them all. Is it night time yet? It is night time. All right, let's finish this. Let's quickly finish this. Uh... Alright, tons more. There we go. 24 of them. Go ahead and add uh, there. Two. We only need one and two. There we go. Electrum. Got it. So we got Electrum coil blocks now. And all we need is the rifle, uh, which we should have sticks. I've been putting sticks back in here. Sticks and copper. That was, was that copper? That was copper, right? Copper. Yep, thought so. A uh, piece of copper. Um, there you go. Piece of copper. Bob's your uncle. And that's that made. Last but not least, the steel uh, revolver barrel. Okay, so we've got some steel left over here. Uh, where is it? Steel. Where is it? Oh, crikey. Oh, nuts. Oh, fuel. And we'll go ahead and make two of those up. Rump, rump. There we go. Steel barrel. Put that back. That's expensive. Done. Okay. We should be able to make ourselves a rail gun. Boom, 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 boom. Check this thing out. Oh, yeah. So, obviously, got it's got no power and it's got no um, ammo. So, um, we've actually got to... You can go ahead... And if you put this thing, I think if you put this thing in the, if you take out the blueprint, you put it in the engineer's workbench, you can actually add upgrades. We're talking, uh, hang on, let me refer to my engineer's manual here so I can refresh my memory. Rail gun, please. Okay. Um, there's the projectiles there. So we got, they're the rods. We got, we got plenty of rods, so that's fine. Um... Um, here you go. You've got you can literally add additional capacitors So, you know last a lot longer which are high voltage. That's expensive We don't even have that to do an additional upgrade and you've got a scope scope actually is very cheap We can we can do a scope if we want a scope actually. We'll, we'll do a scope um, Where was that? Let's do a scope uh, let's, And we'll try a scope plus done done okay come over here throw the gun in here and i think we can add the scope quite easily there we go so she should have a scope on it now i don't know how the scope works uh i think it needs power but there we go oh yeah yeah so we've got a scope on our gun uh, we need to charge this thing the only way to charge it is i built a charging station a little earlier now this charging station obviously needs to be hooked into power and i don't think we have any power available just here but if we can come where some of is available um, you can just power it off a high voltage capacitor if you want to but i think we'll just come over here and I'll, we need to test this before it becomes daytime so we'll plop this down for now there you go plop actually what is the input on this there's the input at the back um we'll, we'll plop it down just here for now Okay, so we can put a low voltage capacitor connector into here and another low voltage co connector. Do we have a low voltage connector? Into there. And I was just going to run the two wires together because you should be able to stick it in there. Boom. Look at that. 
Okay, there's no power in there yet, but we're going to fix that. We are definitely going to fix that. So come back here. Uh, that's a medium volt connector. Low volt connector, Bob's uncle. And we just need some good old fashioned, where are you? Actually, there's a low voltage coil there. Okay, we need a permanent spot for this thing. This is temporary. And right, throw that in there, and we just connect those two together. But um, but um, there you go. She is now powering up. This charging station should charge most things. Okay, okay. All right. So while that's charging up, let's go see if we can attract some nasties. Wow, there's no nasties around. Oh, I see one. Come on, mate. Come on. I want to test my new front door defense. Oh, come on. Ah! Oh, flaming glove. Just bloody struth. Oh, crikey. That scared the b b b Jesus out of me. Come on, you guys. All right. Let's try our new Jurassic Park fence. Uh, well, like, oh, here we go. Here we go. Fadoop. Is it? Is it? Oh, okay. There was not one shot. It's two shot. And it's got a, such a big knockback. Flaming galah. That's seven. You've got to realize, like, it take. I, I got diamond armor. If I stepped into that, I would take seven and a half hearts of damage. But I guess it's not touching all three wires because I was thinking it would stack. Like, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half. But I guess not. That's okay. Turn it on. Hopefully, we can get through. Oh, far out. I, I grit my teeth every time I come through that because it's just so freaking powerful. <laughs> yeah, we got we got a defense back up and going. Woohoo! And we can turn that back off like that. And can we grab our gun back? Yes, we got our rail gun. I think she's, she's fully... How does this thing freaking work? Far out. Okay, she's got max capacity. I think we've got no rods. And we've got steel rods in here. There we go. Whoa! That sounded flaming awesome! Whoa! There it is. Can I get it back? No, you cannot get the steel rod back. How much power did it use? It used bloody half the power! Let's go shoot something. How does the... How does the, the zoom work? In, okay. Okay, I don't know what the zoom... What the how the zoom function actually works on this, but let's go ahead. Is that off? Uh, yeah, that's uh, no light has to be on. Yes, light has to be on for it to be off. All right, let's go shoot something. Flame and galah. Get this rail gun sounds nasty. Come on. All right, we can find something. Oh man, since I've added these lam these lamps in, these lamps are definitely a uh, deterrent. Oh man, hello, it's a, a villager zombie. Boom! Uh oh, I'm out of power, and that didn't one shot him. No! Uh oh, uh oh, let's get out of here. Whoa. Well, you guys can come if you want. I've got something waiting back at the base. <laughs> come on. Come on, you wanna you wanna come back and you know have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee? No? Yes? <laughs> oh struth. Okay. Here they come. Man, I can't believe that ran out of power so quickly. But oh well, there's nothing much we could do about that. We need to add a <laughs> Yep. I, there, it's enough power to keep out a dinosaur. Fan bloody tastic. So obviously I've got to put some upgrades into the rail gun here. I might have put the, the the scope in the wrong slot. Is it is that even possible? No, I don't think that's possible. It allows the rail gun to zoom. See there's that should be the upgrade. Yeah, that doesn't go in there. Okay, good stuff. Alright. So I guess we put it back in the charging bay now. I only got three shots out of it. Flame and galah. Not cool at all. Not cool at all. Well, the rain looks like it's settled in for a while. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and call it now, guys. That's, that was fun playing around with the railgun. I might make a couple of upgrades for it before next episode, just to see how we go. 
But I've got the rods. Uh, we've already got the revolver. But yeah, I might make a couple upgrades just to see how we go. And check how to zoom up and all that good stuff. As long as we're still making steel production, which is we I need really, really badly right now. Oh, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. And we got a defense finally. That's right. There's nothing getting through this fence. Mwa. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Episode 18 here of Immersive Engineering. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the content, do me the biggest favor. Make sure you smash those buttons. Give it a like. Leave a comment below. And share this on your favorite social media. And I'll catch you all later. Oh, <laughs> oh,